guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back, welcome back. Today I was gonna be making some little miniatures for a project that I'm working on. I'm gonna be starting with this file folder divider chipboard. It's almost a millimeter thick, not quite. And I had the Cricut cut out some pieces for me. So shall we? The audio in the original video got messed up, yeah. So you're going to have to deal with uh, voiceover Nick. <laughs> I am just going to be gluing these little frames to some of the panels for my trunk. Just because I didn't want it just to be like flat. And these are the little sides to the trunk. And they also get little frames. I'm just using white glue here. Just regular white glue. It seems to work really well on this chipboard. And then this is the lid of the trunk with a frame. Okay, now I'm gonna be working on this little table or desk. These little pieces are gonna be like the little skirt that goes underneath the tabletop, if you know what I mean. Well, I guess you will here in a minute. And I'm gonna glue it together into this rectangle which was easier said than done. <laughs> and now I'm gonna be adding some glue to these little wooden legs that I cut out. Very simple, easy. And try to get those to stick to that little skirt thing. So after I get done gluing the legs on, I'm going to cut out some more support pieces for this table. The reason I'm telling you this is because the camera shuts off here in a minute and I didn't notice it. So yeah, the camera's now shutting off too. So, oh boy. Anyway, you'll be able to see it here in a second. Um, it'll be obvious, but I just wanted to let you know if you all of a sudden experience a rip in the time space continuum. Yeah, that was me. Um, I'm going to add the little panels to the middle of the sides and the front of the trunk just to make it look like, you know, like paneled wood, kind of. I think something's wrong with my camera. Uh, so, I mean, I've been using it for six, seven years now. It's probably time to start saving up for a new one. Probably should have started saving up for that several months ago, but here we are. It's all right. I'll figure it out. All right, so these two pieces that I'm gluing together right now are the base of the trunk and these little chipboard squares are the feet that go on the bottom. I could have used beads or um, well, all kinds of things, I guess. I didn't want it to be too tall. It didn't really even need feet at all, technically, but you know, <laughs> I had to put something on there, I guess. So now I'm gonna be gluing the box together of the trunk and I glue two corners together and then I will glue those two corners to each other. These are just some pieces of like not t-shirt material but like bed sheet and that's what's going to serve as my hinges. I could have used real hinges but these are well they're basically free so that's always a good thing and now I'm going to glue the entire box of the trunk together and then that gets glued to the base. It's a pretty simple design. It worked out pretty well. And now these little tabs they will get attached to the back of the trunk and then I'm going to let that dry. And now I'm going to take this piece of like stencil card it's thin and I'm going to cover up those little hinge flap fabric thingies in the back. And then on the inside of the lid, I'm gonna take just a scrap piece of cardstock and it will get glued over the fabric tabs underneath the lid. And again, now all this needs to dry. Here are some extra little pieces I am using to um, make supports for the table. You know, the legs and the paper, it they can be pretty flimsy. And I didn't want them to be unsteady or loose. So that's why I did that. Now everything gets a base coat of a chocolateish brown. I guess I could have painted it any color I wanted. 
Uh, I just went with brown because the project I'm working on is going to be, I don't know, set in the 18th or 19th century. Haven't really decided. I don't know if it really matters. I just didn't want it to look new. So everything gets a coat of this brown. Some of you might remember the book nook I did a couple of years ago that had a lot of miniatures in it. This project isn't a book nook, but it is a miniature diorama of sorts. I'm excited to show you the rest of it as I get it done because I think it's got some really cool elements that you will enjoy. I hope to get some more work done on it this week. So if nothing else goes wrong, that is the plan. You know how sometimes it's like no matter what you do, something is going wrong. Like all like you can never catch a break. That's been the past two weeks. It's like everything I start to do, I mess it up or something messes up or I don't have something or yeah, it's been wow. So now I'm, I'm going to be done complaining now. <laughs> so after that base coat is dry, I'm going to take this real pale tan color and I'm using it to dry brush over the top just to um, give some dimension to the little nooks and crannies of the table and the trunk. I like the way it highlights some of the edges and then the recesses of the wood and everything stays darker, but it definitely gives it a little more dimension so it doesn't look so plain. There's the table. And now I'm gonna start on the trunk, just a quick once over with this pale tan. And you'll see as I go over it with this um, lighter color, on, especially on the panels, how it really makes them stand out. And it just takes a few minutes. It doesn't take long at all. After all this is dry, I'm going to give everything a little bit of a sanding just because the dry brushing gives it some dimension, but it doesn't, I don't know, it needed some more weathering, some more aging. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. And this is a fine grain sandpaper. I think it's 220. And I gave everything a once over just to kind of take off some of the paint on the corners and reveal some of the wood or um, I guess cardstock paper <laughs> chipboard underneath. And I think it ends up looking really good. Yeah, I think it looks authentically aged and weathered and handled and moved around a lot. And there's our little table. I need a chair now, don't I? Well, that is all for me today. I hope you enjoyed this little project. I'll keep you updated about the entire thing as I go along. If my camera decides to play nice. Thank you all for joining me today and I'll see you really, really soon in the next video. Bye guys.